everybody we're just loading up some Yakuza Yakuza oh. um, every time every time this controller please oh. oh what is going on with the sound Wait. that was weird hopefully that doesn't a thing. Uh, but anyways, we are back with some Yakuza. It's a good time. Love being here. Love playing Yakuza. A little tired. Uh, but that's okay. It's not okay I'm tired, but I'm gonna play a good game, so uh, I'll probably feel less tired. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Call one, please. Playing as Anjima. Right, uh, okay. Let us get this. What is it? The red chest or the chestnut, the squirrel with the red hat? We're getting this fucking doll for this girl. Where is it? This one? Alright. Let's get this squirrel chat. I am very motivated to make this girl happy. Please. She deserves it. Oh, first try? First try. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I got it! <laughs> I That was some kind of cheese. That was some kind of fucking cheese, dude. I cannot believe I got that. Oh, controller disconnect? What the fuck? What are you talking about controller disconnected? What's happening right now. Peace. Heck, my controller. Also, like, the sound is so weird. The sound is like... Fox, please. Okay. Is it? Does the sound sound off? Anybody? My headphones, it sounds a bit... Sounds a bit weird. I don't know if it's like just me or if it's like the game in general. But like, hold on. Let me leave. This is like, I don't know if like, like the intro was kind of was kind of. Buggy. I see something sparkling there, by the way. I'll pick that up in a second. Um, right now, I guess it sounds fine. So, hopefully, hopefully it's, it doesn't happen again. I don't. Again, I don't know if it's just on my end, like if it's just my headphones, or if it's like for you guys as well. But, anyways, let's talk to this little girl and give her the squirrel. What? You're still staring at that chestnut, the squirrel doll? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, I am. I have one of those red chestnut, the squirrel dolls now. Maybe I ought to get. I ought to give it to her. Yeah, give it to her. Bah, fine. Here. Hand over the chestnut, the squirrel's head. Oh, it's a red chestnut, the squirrel. Adorable. Yeah? Well, it ain't exactly my thing, so why don't you keep it? Really? Thanks, sir. Never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. Oh, hey, best day ever. So, well, glad you like it. Now, will you get on home? Yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom all about it. Thanks. Bye. Maybe, maybe don't mention that stranger gave it to you. Boy, little scamps a handful. Feels kind of nice to make her day like that. Yeah, that felt good. Uh, one second, chat. Sorry about blowing my nose. Uh, so many problems at the beginning of the stream. Uh, 
All right. Back to it. Uh, that sparkly thing. What was that? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, they want us to go home, right? I assume this is where he lives. Uh, let's check out Sautenbori a little bit, though. Um, what's over here? Cabbage Heavy, Okonomiyaki, M Store, Sautenbori. <gasps> chat, there's karaoke. There's karaoke, chat. So let's go do some karaoke. What uh, the hell is that? I don't recall there being a statue there. Now I have to. Well, here's a well-made statue. I'm doing it in a place like this. What's he doing in a place like this, though? Pretty amazing details, too. Wonder what they make this stuff out of. Aya! Huh? Wait, you're in voices now? Eh? Whatever, this statue, though. It sure looks lifelike, doesn't it? Doesn't feel like plaster at all. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the hell? And you're alive. Ugh. Hey now, buddy, that tickled. No touching, please. Think of my act like a classy strip club. You can look, but you keep your... <laughs> okay. Former. That's what I am. Street performer. Uh, here we go with the silly music. I go by the name Tokukichi. What I'm doing now is performance art. I'm playing the part of a statue. Okay. Okay, I get the picture. You're really good. I thought you actually were a statue. But why are you doing this here? Oh, didn't you know? This area is the holy land for Busker. Okay. Holy. Hell? Heaven, not hell. The heavy foot traffic means we get a very steady audience. Locals here love a good comedy bit. So they have a great eye for quality. It's my lucky spot. Alright, make that money. Well, I guess if you put it that way, this bridge does have its benefits. So you're practicing your act? Yes, that would be a fair description. Ultimately, I hope to be a street performer who inspires little kids to dream big. Alright, man. I think street performances are entertainment that anyone can enjoy, from kids who just learn to speak to the elderly forgetting word. Okay? I want to make people smile. Grand dream. Good on you. Well, I wish you the best. I'll be moving on. Sorry to disturb. Oh no, it's fine. See ya. It's a guy who's got a dream worth dreaming. Hope he makes it come true. Maybe we'll check back later, see how he's getting on. Yeah, okay, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, do whatever you can. Make that money, follow your dreams. Dude. Follow your dreams. Uh, what's going on with this guy? Uh, what the? With this creep, creeper? Good. Hey, you, this is no napping zone. Why don't you get up and move along? Uh, I'm hurt. This guy gets a snot kicked out of him? So much pain, he can't even talk. Uh, do I even have any medicine? Oh, I do. Um, here, have this one. Here you go. Here you go, pal. Drink this. Uh, uh? Was kind of a perfect background for uh, for him drinking. I love it. You all right? Hi. Yes, I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. Want to tell me what happened? Why'd you get laid out? It's. <laughs> I like the title for his name, formerly fallen guy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's because I was chasing a dream. Here we go. What's this about a dream? A dream to boldly walk across Iwao Bridge. What? Oh, right. Grand old dream like walking across the bridge. Sure does explain why you got beat to an inch of your life. Yeah, that doesn't make any fucking sense. 
Except not really. <laughs> huh? I mean, come on. It wouldn't take more than a minute or two to just stroll right across the bridge. But it's not that simple. What is going on with this guy? Why is that? <sighs> because of this stagion? Stagion? The hoon? I'm wearing? The what? <laughs> oh. No, you don't know what a st Yeah, what that is. Uh, it's terrible. You're not with the times at all. So not cool. Okay, man. You're the one who's just trying to walk across the park. Stagion or stagion is short for stadium jumper. It's a jacket worn by athletes at stadiums, so they stay warm and limber. Okay. Overseas, they call these varsity jackets, but here in Japan, it's stagion all the way. Ah, okay. All right. Neat. But why in the world would wearing a stagion make you... Make... It's so you couldn't cross Iwal Bridge. <sighs> well, put on a jacket like this and you pop the collar and suddenly everyone thinks you're some kind of big shot. All the punks come charging out looking for blood. What is this? <sighs> Maybe if the say jacket didn't say bring on the fights. <sighs> I've tried crossing eight times now, but every time goons show up and beat the crap out of me before I can make... What the fuck? <laughs> That's certainly a unique problem. There's gotta be other dudes wearing jackets like that, right? They aren't all getting mauled by the riffraff. Uh, I ain't, can't explain it, but when I do it, I get so much heat. My face pisses people off. Just like just. Yo, this guy is having it rough. Destiny's an asshole if that's the case. But all right, at least I get why you're bleeding down the pavement here. Yeah. Here's a novel idea. Maybe take off the stagion. Seems to me that's the source of all your woes. Yeah. That defeats the purpose. Love this stagion. I wouldn't believe how much trouble I went through to get this suit jacket. I want to wear it loud and proud. That's... That's my dream. Okay. I mean, everyone has to have a dream. Little. Or big. <sighs> well, it's a free country. Where you, wager you've got another beaten coming down the pipe if you go through it. <sighs> it complicates things. Oh. Oh. Sorry, how rude of me. My name is Suda. Oh, we finally get a name. Suda-chan, huh? I'm Majima. Majima-san. Don't mind me saying, you look like a man who can wade into brawls and walk away without a hair out of play. Well, I've got a hair tie, but <laughs> yeah, I can hold my own. Okay. Majima-san, I'm sorry if this sounds wimpy, but do you think you can help me make my dreams come true? What do you Or dream come true? Huh? What do you mean? I know it's probably an improposition. Do you think you can fend off the goons while I strut proudly across you outbreak? <sighs> Not kidding about being an imposition. I'm sorry, but with, without the help of a guy like you, my dream will be forever unfulfilled. I'll have a lifetime of... Will you really have a lifetime of regret? Please, majima -san, Please help me realize my dream. Yeah, okay. Oh, alright. <clears throat> Fine, I'll help you. <laughs> You really do this? I mean it? I mean, I know I asked, but I didn't expect to meet a person kind enough to get into a fist fight for me. Yeah, story of my life, but you're serious about the station, badgin, drawn out goons like flies on rotten fruit? Hi. Oh, yes, totally. Just watch. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? <laughs> goon. Huh? Infuriated goon. Hey, you! Think you're hot shit in that check? What the fuck is wrong with these guys? Uh? Trying to start something? Huh? See? <sighs> yeah, I'm seeing it. Can't tell if that's if it's that stagion or you that's drawn all this aggro, though. Okay. I'm going to strut proudly down this bridge. Please keep me safe. Enjoy your stroll, bud. Punks are going to pay the toll to the troll. Okay. Protect the civilian. What the fuck is wrong with these guys? Hey, get get out of here! Oh my god, please, Majima! Stop it! Get out of here! Okay. Matt, the bats might be a bit slow. Might have to use thug style for this. Why? 
Hey, get, get away from him. Oh my god, these guys. Stop it. There's more of them? God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many. Why did he take so much damage at the beginning? What the fuck? Oh, come on, please. You're almost at the end of the bridge. Did I win? Did I do it? Oh, thank god. He was so close to losing all his health. Yes! That's just exactly how I feel. Oh my god. I finally did it. I made it all the way to across the Ewald Bridge while wearing my beloved staging. <laughs> Good for you. Yes, thank you, Majima-san. Made my dream come true. I'd like you to have this. Best I can do is my thanks. You got an encounter finder. Okay, I don't think I've ever been this happy. I'll never forget what you did for me today. <laughs> Cruising around in the jacket, is that a big deal to you? You're an odd dude. <laughs> I know, I don't think most people would understand how much this meant to me, but still, it was my dream. Guess that's true of most dreams. Sorry, I shouldn't call you odd. <laughs> no need to apologize, Majima-san. I owe you a life debt. You never need to apologize to me ever. <laughs> Take it back, <laughs> you are an odd dude. <laughs> Guess so, I get told that often. Well, after that most satisfying accomplishment, I'm hungry. I'm gonna head for home and food. <laughs> yeah, good luck on those bridges. Yes. Thank you and goodbye. Oh my god, is he just gonna go back across the bridge? <clears throat> Guess it ain't so much about what others think of you. It's, if it's something you want to do, you better get to it. <laughs> it sounds pretty weird, but his philosophy is right on. There's a real man. <laughs> hmm? Hey, what's with the hard ass stage in? You trying to be funny? Bring on the fights, huh? Get it on then. Let me get a Help! <sighs> Take it off and go home, man. That was certainly a side story. That was, um. What the fuck, dude? Oh, what is this encounter finder that I got? Uh, oh, I should put on some equipment, huh? Um. Yo, let me try this spicy knife. Uh, gear. Um, where I'll put that on. What is this? His advice is head to help find people who are looking for a fight. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was really weird. Yeah, let me fight. I want to fight legitimately now. Yo, protecting someone in this game is the worst. Ow, 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 ow. Get my... oh, oh. Oh. You get the bat. Um, yeah, what that side story was kind of weird, though. Like, just this guy's dream was literally just going across the bridge with his jacket on. I mean, I can't hate on him, but like, uh, what were we doing? Oh, right, karaoke. I wanted to get to karaoke. All right, hopefully, no side stories pop up. All right, what, what do you what do you have? Man who likes shogi. Hey, Sonny, if you have a spare moment, why don't you play a noble game of strategy with me? Huh? And who are you? Eh, <laughs> just an old man who likes nothing more than shogi. Whenever I have time, I come to sit here waiting for someone to join me for a game. Ah, a street shogi player. Well, are you interested in shogi? Give you some slack if you're not an experienced player. Maybe I could go for a game of shogi. Not now. I have no time for shogi. Can't right now. Maybe some other time. Ah, well, can't be helped. Yeah, uh, Shogi will probably take some time. I know nothing about Shogi. You guys want to fight? Got some folks? Bikers, huh? 
really slow, but it, it fucking does damage. Alright. Thanks for showing up, guys. I can't go in here. Uh... Oh. I can't go that way. Uh... Oh, this one. Oh, dog! Oh, no, I'm so sorry! Oh, come on, guys. Have a heart and help me, please. What are you looking at? Scram, or we'll beat you into a pulp. They'll have to scrape off the street. I'm gonna use my bat. Ah. Ah, please. I get the heat boot for like one second. Oh. Goodbye, Kamiya. Ah, I can't block my kind. Oh, you guys are fucked. You guys are stuck in the corner. Yo, it feels really, like, cheesy. Feels like <laughs> overpowered to have the bat. Sorry, it won't cause any much trouble again, promise. Caught those dirtbags lesson, they'll never forget. Thank you, here's a little something for you. Slightly battered, tough to slide. Thanks. Hey. Which one is it? Oh, chat, it's time for karaoke. Yes! Uh, would you like something to eat? Uh, you know, I could, uh, I could have something to eat. Some fried chicken. Oh my! Yummy. I love karaoke, dude. Karaoke. Good. Yes. Yes. Sing my heart out. Hell yeah. Oh, what do we got? Sing. Uh, okay, well, let's do 24 hour Cinderella because I want to sing. Yeah. Hell yeah. So good. Hell yeah. And I love these like these uh, little mini games, these rhythm uh, mini games. Sorry, it's hard to chat and do both at the same time. My brain cannot do it. I went a lot slower than I expected. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Ho 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 ho! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, it went so fast. Hell yeah. Oh my god, this is so good. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this song is so good. <laughs> what is this song? Yes. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. Karaoke is so good. 90. Alright, yeah, I had a few mistakes. It's going to take a little bit to get used to the um, the, the rhythm. But uh, I love rhythm games. Alright, we're going to come back and do the other songs. But uh, for right now, I just wanted to get one out of my system. Uh, what's over here? Erotic videos, huh? Not on my stream. Ajong. Alright, I guess we'll just go back home. What 
is happening here? My daughter. Please let my Yori go. Oh, huh? this. Oh boy, here we go. Let her go. Your daughter is with us of her own free will. Your accusations have no merits. You people duped my daughter into joining. You. You. Fanatics! Oh boy, Chad, here we go. Resist in your ven venomous blasphemy. I'm afraid that Sister Yori will have to serve atonement for the sins of the other. <coughs> atonement? Our adherence to pacif pacifism makes the use of physical atonement distasteful. But it is at times a necessary evil. Now, please let us be. Oh, man. Sounds like a cult. <sighs> Corey, what am I going to do? Well, I was going to go home. Now I'm interested. Yori, what am I going to do? Oi. Oi. I couldn't help but over here you giving lip to those chama clad screwballs. Something up? Me? And Bar? Nobody special. Like I said, it sounded like an argument, and I wanted to make sure you weren't in any danger. You're just passing by. Not one of them. That that cult. Huh? Cult. Ugh. Yes. Those people I was talking to. Those people took my daughter, Yori. You mean took? You're saying your daughter got swept up in the pajama party and hasn't come home since. Mm. Yes, I don't know who to turn to anymore. How old's Yori Chan? 20. The college student. 20, eh? She's right for the picking. She's right for the picking then. Girls her age are looking for freedom, and they must have had it on offer. Yori isn't like that. She's been duped by those people. By that cult. You sure they're a cult, not just a bunch of kooks in pajamas? Mm. I mean, isn't that all cult? Yes, I didn't know anything was wrong until I got a call from school saying Yori was missing classes. She left home every morning, so I followed her one day. That's when I saw her going into that cult's building. Yori came down, came home, I confronted her about it. Rather than getting upset over my following her, she said, What perfect timing, you should join the Order too." Sounds very culty. I've never seen my daughter so vacant. She gets this faraway look in her eyes whenever she talks about this new obsession. I'm sure they've done something. She's also been spending her money on these expensive amulets and statues. I told her she needed to get out of this cult. She ain't exactly listening to the reason, is she? Right. The next day, the Cultists just showed up and took my daughter away. They didn't resort to force, but they weren't going to leave without her, either. <sighs> gotcha. I've gone to see them many times, pleading to see my Yori, but they always turn me away at the door. <sighs> I just recently lost my husband. I to lose my poor daughter now. My daughter's caught up in some weird cult that she can't even see. That ain't right. No, it isn't. Oh, no. Um, Majibasan, was it? May I please make a request? Go for it. I guess I kind of stepped into this one anyway. Something reasonable and maybe I can help. Um, would you mind joining that cult for me? <laughs> Yo, perfectly, perfectly reasonable request. Would you join the a cult for me? Yeah, dude. You want me to join them? Part of that's reasonable. Mm. Well, only disciples are allowed inside. Joining them is the only way to get in. I would sneak in myself, but they know my face now. They'll never let me pass the door. Get it. Don't know me, I can join them and gain entry with no fuss. <clears throat> Sound logic, but. Let's think I'm insane for asking you to do this. We only just met, but I want my daughter back. Majibasan, please. Please help me. I will, of course, provide a reward of some sort. What if this is, like, a long con? What, what, what if she works for the cult? And, like, all of this is a part of a grand scheme to get people like me to, like, go inside the cult to infiltrate and then they just like you know have me as a part of the cult now you could even just tell Yori that I want her to come home even that will do please 
Uh, yeah, I'm invested now. I mean, might as well. Well, can't very well sell it and say no now, can I? All I can promise is that I'll tell her to come home. Will? Oh, thank you. Hachima-san, please be careful. No telling what the order of Hunan Chopet Onast is capable of. What? The order of Munan Chopet Cho Chohepet? Chohept? Chohept Onast. Munan Cha Cha. Munan Cha 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 Cha. What now? The order of Munan Chohept Onast. You must learn their name if you can't even get that much right. These cult those cultists will never try to trust you. Uh, right. Odd name for a religion, though. I mean, it's a cult, so of course they're gonna have an odd name. Anyway, don't you worry, I got this. I'll sneak my way in. Take contact with the Ori-chan and then snake my way out. Thank you. Please take this much. Received a handmade amulet. This. Just a little charm I made to ward off evil. I think you may need it. Hope <laughs> yeah. oh, it really works. Please. Please find my daughter, Yori. Uh, okay. Where do I go for that? Oh, over here? I assume over here. Yep, there's some cultists. Hey, how's it going, guys? I want to join your cult. Uh, sorry, chat. Just gonna put my nose. Those pajama freaks. Oh. Please. Controller disconnected. It's not disconnected, I swear. Please. It's not disconnected, I swear. Believe me. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what it is with this controller. It just, like, hates me. Maybe I need to like replace the batteries or something. There we go. Okay. Those pajama freaks are in the cult that Iori Chan joined. I gotta join them and help out her mom. Hi. Excuse me. Yes. You seek something from us? Meet Iori Chan. I gotta get into this cult. Hey, Danny. Yeah, the controller. I don't know what it is. My controller fights me like all the time with like every game I play. I don't know if it's because like the cable doesn't work or I need to replace the batteries or whatever, but yeah, Xbox, great job on making these controllers. Thanks. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Thanks, Xbox. Love it. I don't know what you want from me. Uh, but thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Use your PS4 controller? Yeah, I know some people use PS4 controllers um, or PS3 controllers. Uh, I used to do that, but you have to do, like, a lot. You have to download a program or whatever it is. Like, when you use an Xbox controller, you just literally turn it on and it connects to your uh, computer. Um, so I went with the easier route, but I guess it just has decided to not work sometimes. But yeah, usually I use a PS4 controller. Good seem allows me to just use it. Oh, does it? Oh, that's really cool. But well, I wonder if that's for certain games because also when you play games, right, they only like show Xbox options, right? It shows the A button. Like they don't really show PS4 options, usually for buttons. Uh, so it makes it kind of confusing. Okay, of course, every game is different, but usually they show for like, yeah, it, they usually show for Xbox control, which really sucks. Uh, they basically say, hey, Use an Xbox controller. Don't use a PS4 or Sony controller. Um, but yeah, for like Dynasty Warriors, uh, for example, I would love to use a Sony controller uh, instead of an Xbox controller. But I mean, the controller is fine. It fits in my hand fine, and it, I like the, the controller. It's just that I wish it stopped connecting every so often. But it might just be because I need to change the batteries or something. I have no idea. I've never used Xbox uh Controllers, at least the new ones. So I'm inept, inept, inept. The using Find PS controllers. Yeah, I love PS. I love PS controllers. Uh, I am 
Uh, I know that a lot of people complain. They're like, oh, but the PS controller doesn't fit the hand so well as the Xbox. I'm like, whatever, man. It's a matter of preference. Who cares? Uh, I actually enjoy them. But, uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing I can really do about it now. I'm not going to buy a new controller. Uh, I'm going to stick with my, uh, my shitty Xbox controller that doesn't work often. But thank you. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's find out about this cult more, too. Uh, so first I gotta act like I really want to join. I want to order, I want to join the order of Maran Chowapt Rast, the Macho Chedipt Orest, uh, Munan Chowapt Onast. No. I want to join the order of Munan Chowapt Onast. Uh, uh, find the Xbox controller. Oh, interesting, it doesn't fit your hand. Yeah, it's weird. You know, a lot of people are, like, really, like adamant right about xbox controllers being the best controller that it's ergonomically designed better for your hand and all that and i'm just like yeah but everybody's different though case in point you right for example it doesn't fit your hand as much as the work controller or sony controller and i personally never had any problems with sony controllers i don't know why people complain i felt like they were just fine it's not like the nintendo 64 controller right where you needed like three hands to hold it. It was a fine controller. <clears throat> ah, you have come to embrace the divine magnificent of Munan Chohept Onas. Do you wish to become chosen? Oh, the 64 controller, yeah. I don't know how other people held it. I just held it on the sides. Oh, god damn. I just held the controller on the sides like I'm holding my Xbox controller. Um, having a lot of issues. Uh, but yeah, I just held it on the sides. I don't know anyone that held it in the middle. But also, like, a lot of people complain about it, but I personally did not have any issues with the Nintendo 64. Like, I felt it was fine. Oh my god. Why? He's... Depending on the game, I see. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, I do. Munan Choept is where it's, <laughs> is where it's at. Uh, yeah, I didn't play too many games, but the games I did play, I, I didn't have too many issues. <laughs> I just played, like, Super Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie. I think that's all I played. I didn't have the 64 for very long. Glory B, I can see you will be a most excellent disciple already. Right this way, please. <coughs> all right. Where do they come up with this shit anyway? Oh, thank you for committing yourself to our path. May I have your name, please? Uh. I'm Majima. Oro Majima. Ah, Brother Majima. Onast for informing me. Let's have you. Whoa, hold up a sec. You just threw that psycho. psycho babble at me like I was supposed to know what it meant. Oh, Onast is a word we use to express the feeling of gratitude and appreciation. Uh, we already have a word for that, but us to you too. As I was going to say, Brother Majima, we'll have you observe a portion of our activities. You must observe with purpose. First time, first part of your training to absorb our doctrine. You test at the end as a measure of your faith. It ain't a pop quiz. Gotcha. Well, shall we be? Help! Help me! Help! Oh! Boy, boy, what's all the racket? Apologies, brother. He is a debaser. <coughs> oh, not again. You must be more careful. We have a new recruit with us. Hi. Yes, I will call for a chastening. Eh? Chastening? No, not that. Not a chastening. Have mercy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. That guy's scared shitless. I don't know what's going on, but maybe you could ease up on him? <laughs> Your concerns are unfounded, Brother Munch. A poor soul is wrecked by episodic outbursts of manic, manic behavior. Outbursts. Come. This way. Yeah. Oh, I want to go home. Oh, boy. This is looking really sketch. Please pay no heed. Let us continue. 
I don't want to know what the chest. Is. What are they doing? Well, what do we got here? This is our prayer room. It is where we practice shure. A goddamn adult. It still makes me. God damn it. Shure pee pee. Good. Hold up. You slipped that sure pee pee thing in as if it was the most natural thing in the world. Oh, what is it? <coughs> ah, but it is. Shri P.P. is training to attain higher enlightenment in the path of Munan Choheptonast. Okay. Shri P.P. is training. It sounds like they're saying chew the P.P. And I just can't get that out of my head. Those engaged in Shri P.P. Here are our last, latest recruits. As a collective, we refer to each other as friends. Okay. Like the great hit TV show. Latest recruits, eh? A lady's lost daughter, Yori-chan. Could be doing this Shure Pee Pee thing right here. Oh boy, she could, she sure could be. Shure Pee Pee gives them focus, concentration, they accumulate kalu kalipas. You guys got a dictionary for all this? What's kalipas? <sighs> Well, to put it in layman's terms, it can be considered a measure of virtue. Okay? As we accumulate Kalipas, the, the divine Munan Choheth shall bestow enlightenment and rapture upon us. Uh huh. <sighs> it's getting so old so fast. Oh, Mr. Yorisan, must sway more. Proper Shure Pipi is the path to enlightenment. Oh, well, we know where Yori is. Hi! Yes, Onast for your benevolent guidance. Huh? Call her Yori? Is that our girl? I'm sorry, I need a minute to help steer our friends towards the path of the just. Brother Majua, please feel free to observe. Oh man, this is some fucking weird stuff, even for a cult. Don't mind if I do, here's my chance to see if that friend's our girl, Yori chan. I just want to kind of get a view of this. Camera, please. Just let that sink in, what they're saying. What they're saying, just let that sink in. Hey, sister. Sister. The guy called you a Yori, right? I want to talk to me? Warn me, huh? She wants to concentrate on her Shure Pee Pee thing. I see if this girl's really Yori chan. What do I say to her? Crack a dumb pawn. Call her a Yori. Uh, well, I'm fairly sure none of these options except this one will work. Go to my name and see if that gets a reaction. I mean, didn't we just call her name? People can't help but respond to the name. That ought to tell me if this girl's our Yori chan. No. You're a Yori chan, aren't you? Pardon? How do you know my name? Bam. Here's that lady's missing daughter. Yori chan, listen up. I got a message from your mom. My mom? Yeah. You asked me to get in here and tell you to come home. Mother. 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 Mother, may I? What the? Yori chan. Ah, mother. My head, it hurts. Ah. Hey, what's wrong? Snap out it. Brother Majima, what is going on here? You must not disturb our disciples and Shure Pipi. Uh, yeah, sorry. My bad. Mr. Yori-san, are you well? Mm. Yes, I think so. 
Brother Majma, please be careful when speaking to fellow disciples. Your friends are purging memories of family and their worldly ties to attain spiritual purity. Oh, okay, I was going to say, she sounded kind of like uh, her brain was getting washed. Almost as if brainwashing. Right? Uh, so I guess they, they pretty much are just brainwashing everybody to forget everybody. Forget all of their friends and family so that way they just commit themselves to the pretty cult stuff. Normal cult stuff. Say what? Purging memories. Hey. Yes. As a rule, our disciples undergo a mental cleansing process so that they may better dedicate themselves to shoot at pee-pee. That's... Ahem. My friends, I ask for your attention. Oh, that was... Hey, our guru has come to inspire us in our climb toward ever higher states of enlightenment through Shure Pipi. Oh. Friends, our spiritual leader, Guru Munan Suzuki. Oh my god. What's this fucking guy gonna look like? My disciples. Munancho! Nuncho. Okay. You too, brother Machima. Wait, the hell's a moon? <laughs> what the hell's a moon nacho? <laughs> oh man, Majima, don't ever change. Nuncho is our word of greeting. Incidentally, our word for farewell is hepton. Brother Majima, please. Uh, say it with the pose. Munancho. Munancho. Munancho, everybody. Nicely done. Two spirit points are awarded. Huh? huh? Okay. <laughs> Glory be. Munacho. Yeah. Dude, moon nachos sound fucking delicious. I don't know what they would be like, but fucking moon nachos? I mean, the moon's made out of cheese, right? Everybody knows that. That's common knowledge. So, I mean, moon nacho sounds about the next step that we gotta... Come on, NASA. What are you doing? Glory be a most splendid greeting. Our savior and master, Munancho Hept, is most pleased. Ooh. <clears throat> I had no idea it was physically possible to be this phony. This is actually kind of impressive. So, friends, tell me. <clears throat> How much titherance have you all contributed to the exalted Munan Chohept? I have contributed five Rincho. I have done better at eight Rincho. Love this sweet, like, cult music, too. Titherance is what we call a tithe. Uh, okay. I was just about to ask that. So, how much is a Rincho worth? One Rincho is 100,000. 100, 100,000? Oh my god. So that lady don't gave eight hundred thousand yen. Jesus. Disciples are kicking up that much to the order. Hey. Is all a process to greater enlightenment and joy? One is bound by chains of gold. There can be no freedom. Renouncing our possessions is the first step to rap to the rapture. No matter how phony it is, I thought it'd be okay if it made people feel better. But damn, they're just straight up stealing from these. Ah, so much titherance. Glory be. Onas, my friends. Oh, sister. Yori san, was it? You appear somewhat pale. Are you feeling quite well? Hi. Yes. Fine. Onas for your kind concern, good. Yes. Incidentally, Yori san, how much titherance have you tendered to your enlightenment? I. I haven't been able to put together enough money yet. What? False friend? Such a shameful lack of faith. <sighs> Beg for your forgiveness. Shame. But friends, do not chastise our sister Yori-san. We all have worldly excuses that weigh us down. All right, man. Guru Munan <sighs> Must understand, hitherance is a specially valued form of shute pipi. You alone are lacking in Rincho. Sister Yori-san, your, kalu your kalipas will be stunt stunted. What a f 
fucking couple of sentences that was. Oh, no. What can I do? Uh, is a donation. Shooting PP is some kind of meditation. And Kalipas is what now? God damn it, I can barely keep this chibber straight. Sister Yori-san, I am happy to observe that you are blessed with the divine physicality and transcend transcendental beauty. Engaging in special shooting PP with me can put things to right. Special shooting PP. Guru, it is an honor. That doesn't sound good. The most sacred form of Shure Pipi, it bestows enormous Kalipas. We shall experience together shortly. Go and cleanse your body of impurities. Rapture awaits. He's gonna show he's gonna show her the PP, right? That's that's what's gonna happen. And yeah, he's he's gonna give her some Kalipas, alright. Oh gosh, I I shall, Guru. Captain, friends, please continue with your shoot a pee Must. Where's the Ori Chan gone to? I know not the details, but it is among the most sacred of shoot a pee The disciple becomes as one body and soul with our Guru. Come as one, eh? It is a special shoot a pee -pee allowed only to women and even among them only to the chosen. If I were not a man, I wish I could protect in its grand glory. Oh, I don't think you do though. Focus Guru is not only siphoning money, but he's got the, his pick of the girls. How do these pajama twits not wise get wise to the scam? Mom only wanted me to get a message, Yori-chan, so I'm technically, technically done with what I promised to do. Now Yori-chan's in real danger. So screw it. And my membership. Your tour is over, Brother Majma. It's time for your test. Test? Hold your damn horses. I ain't got time right now. <sighs> sure? By demonstrating you have learned the ways of the order, you may earn a blessing in person from the guru. <laughs> what? You mean I can beat the old guru if I do good on your test? You're on, then. Alright, chat. It's time to ace this exam. Unlike my normal exams at school, where I didn't do well. And the scholar in Dynasty Warriors, I also did not do well. So, uh, let's make up for all of that. Quiz, really? Uh, uh, very well. It'll be a simple oral exam. A quiz, really, to determine how attentive you are during your tour. Sure. First question. The order of the Munan Chohaptonas, what do we say to express our gratitude? Molte grazie. Munan Chohaptonast. Uh, we say... Nast. Nast. Blended. Correct, Brother Majima. You have learned from our tour. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to do better than that. All right, we're one for one. Second question. What do we call the training we undergo to accum accumulate Kalipas? Shure pipi, shure pupu, shure popo. All right. Shure pipi. Shure the pipi. Wonderful. Correct. You have practiced proper shure pipi even during your brief tour. Very impressive. <laughs> sure. The shure pee -pee <laughs> Well, don't say that. Third question. Munan chose our greeting in the order of Munan Chohaptonas. Please demonstrate. Uh, raise both arms high and shout. Circle with the left hand, then bring palms together. Do the hustle? <laughs> I kind of want to pick do the hustle, but I'm afraid what will happen if I get any uh, answers wrong. So let's do the mm -hmm. Munan Cho. Excellent. Truly, it's textbook example of Munan Show. <laughs> yeah, got the moves. Very well, the final question. Do you remember the name of our guru? Uh, Munan Suzuki. Suzuki, like the motorbike. I love the every time I get it correct. Bravo, correct. Perhaps it was too easy. <laughs> I think the uh, larger than life. That, we are done. Test is at an end. Splendidly done, Brother Majima. What a perfect four out of four. Speaks to your attentiveness during your tour. One of your caliber may even qualify as a leadership. <laughs> <laughs> non Majima's got a nice ring to it. Brother Majima, find no fault with you. You are worthy of receiving our Guru's benediction in person. Follow me. I'll show you to our Guru's quarters. 
we are each on still okay. All right. Time to go, uh, fucking see this guru. Guru Munan Suzuki, please use us. It's like a normal business office. Ah, is that our new friend candidate? What was it now? Brother Majima. Uh. Meet ya. <laughs> Brother Majima is a rare find, an extraordinary individual. Uh, guru, he is most worthy of your divine benediction. He music to my ears. I have matters I must attend to, so let's not waste any time. There. Have my blessing. I mean, didn't he just say, like, greetings? Got some crystal. <sighs> okay, cool. All this stuff you're blessing? Mm -hmm. Is there a problem? No. I suppose not. Guru, excuse me. Ah, Yori-san. Have readied yourself for Shurei PP? Hi. Yes, Guru. I have cleansed myself thoroughly. I am a vessel for your special Shurei PP. Oh, man, this gets harder and harder to read with every sentence. Excellent. Since I already performed your benediction, both of you should leave at once. Hepton. All right, end of the road. If I don't stop this now, the Shurei PP is going to have his way with Yori-chan. Shoot it, pee pee with me instead. I am Munan Chobhept. Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. Oh, chat. <laughs> what the fuck do I say? All of these are great answers. Kinda wanna say this one. Uh. Nah, no, I should. I should do this one. I'm thinking, like, if I say this, it might. Like. Uh, I'll go with this one. Yorishan, you're being conned. Mom's gonna be heartbroken. Mom. <laughs> Who is mom? My head. It hurts. Can't forget your mom, Yorishan. They might have messed with your memory, but you gotta remember the woman who raised you. Stop it, Majima-san. Awakening the memories of friends is sin beyond all sins. Shut your face, you damn phony. Yorishan, snap out of it. I'll take you home to your mom. What is... Uh, um... Ah! Who? Oh? This... It's... My mother's amulet. Oh? Sorry, Sean. Remember now? Uh, I... I don't know. But... Why did I ever think I wanted to become one with this shady old hippie? <laughs> You're thinking straight now, at least. Urgh. This woman ripens. Mine for the plucking. Oh my god, the music got so intense all of a sudden. How dare you interfere? Mm -hmm. Guru Munan Suzuki. The, there's your snake oil shilling fraud showing his true colors. Guru Pajama Pants has been milking all of you. Silence! Oh yeah, we're gonna beat up. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, time to see the bat. <laughs> Okay, this this guy knows how to fight. But he has not seen the true uh, for the true amazingness and the power of the bat. Get down! I'll show you my PP. That sounded not as good as I wanted it to be. Alright, let me bring out this weapon. I wanna try out this super spicy knife. Oh, it burns them! Oh, God. Oh, my God. I didn't expect that to burn. All right, Majima, come on. All right, let's pick this up. Hey, take the chair. You just kick the chair? Excuse me? Hey, let me, like, smash you with this table. I want to smash them. I want to smash them with the chair. God damn it. Oh. It's so hard to like get my heat gauge enough so I can like beat them up with the. Can you stop moving? Stay down. Oh my god, this guy's so annoying. 
This guy's incredibly annoying. Stay the fuck down. There we go. I was like trying to I was trying to get him with something for like the longest time. There we go. Fuck you. God. Ah, took so long to get a weapon to smack him with. Ah, such pain. How many broken bones do I have? Guru, we heard terrible noises. Everything alright? Friends, quickly, you must call me an ambulance. Our guru is gravely injured. We must perform the ritual of healing for him. Everyone. None. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, no, you dipshits. Waving your hands around at me won't fix anything. Uh... Oh, oh god damn it. Try to put try to put down my controller for a joke. Doesn't work out. Somebody help me. I was like that too. Alright. Chan, we should get you home. Right. Yori? Um Are you done with that crazy religion? Mm. Yes. I'm over it. Oh, I see a dream machine behind, by the way. Um, I wanted to bring Dad back. <gasps> what? Ever since Dad died, you haven't stopped crying, but there's nothing I could do for you. That's when they told me the dead could be brought back to life. I just had to... I just had to do these rituals and earn a few spirit points. I have known how insane it was. I guess I just got caught up in that cult scam. That's why. But I now know that if I followed those terrible people, I'd be leaving you all alone, and that's even worse. So sorry. No, I should be the one saying sorry. I didn't know how much anguish I was causing you. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Majima san. I only asked you to deliver a message, but you got my daughter back. I can never thank you enough. <laughs> no problem at all. I'd say I got a pretty spiritual experience out of it, too. Majima san, please take this as our thanks. Seems hardly of any value for all that you did for it. Got a traveler's amulet. Thanks. Oh, right, Yori chan, I gotta give this to you. Hand over the handmade amulet. <laughs> This, it's mom's. <laughs> anyway, it totally worked, you know? After all, you got some free pajamas out of it. <laughs> Majima, always looking at the bright side of things. You hold on to that amulet and let it protect you. You and your mom. Keep the family together, will you? Hey! Will! Majima-san. What's up? Thank you. you. Saved us. <laughs> it's all good. What a good sub story. That was a that was a really good sub story. Anyways, dream machine. Uh yeah, make my dreams come true. This is the ultimate in uh, firecrackers? Okay. This is the ultimate scam right here, is these fucking dream machines. Uh real talk though, chat. I well, I've never been in a in a um, in a cult. But uh I have been tried I have been recruited multiple times while being in Korea. Um, I don't know the name of this cult because obviously I never followed them, but there's like, it's hard to explain, but there's these people that will be around the, uh, popular tourist destinations like Hongdae, Dongdaemun, um, uh, kind of like the big areas that people are walking around in and they'll speak really like almost fluent English. Like they'll just talk to you, like, they'll come up to you like a friend, talk to you about like anything and they'll just like try to keep you in place. Uh, but for me, what happened was, like, there's these uh, two girls. And this was, like, a couple of years ago, though. Um, not recently. And they were asking me about, a li like, a, a bookstore. And I was like, oh, I mean, I lived in the area for a while. I can maybe help them find a bookstore. And um, they asked me where the nearest bookstore was and all that. And I was like, okay, well, in Hongdae, there's no really close bookstore. You have to go to uh, Hapjong. And that's, like, the closest bookstore that I know of. Uh, but it's a little bit far away. 
And at the time, I was playing Pokemon Go, mind you. I was just walking around playing Pokemon Go. Uh, and so they kept on, like, asking me different questions. And eventually they're like, uh, do you think you can, like, guide us to the bookstore? And I was like, nah, I'm kind of busy <laughs> playing Pokemon Go. I don't really have time to go to a bookstore. Uh, and then so eventually they asked me about, like, do you know about Korean traditions? And I was like, yeah, I know some. And they were like, hey, do you want to experience a traditional, like, cold Korean traditional meal where you can wear hanbok and eat this food and all that? It's like a, a cultural thing that we do here uh, every year. And I was like, are you talking about Chuseok? Like, no, 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 no. It's just a, it's a different kind of thing. I was like, uh, where is it? I'm like, oh, it's, a, it's just like two stations away. It's not far. I'm like, as I told you, I'm playing Pokemon Go. I'm kind of busy. And I know it won't take too much time. Maybe like just 30 minutes. And I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a good time playing Pokemon Go. But sounds nice. Uh, you, guys, you guys have a good time. I, I completely disregarded the fact that they wanted me to do a cult cultural thing. I genuinely thought at the time that they wanted to go to a bookstore. Now, I was able to get away. And the only reason I found out this was a cult was because a friend of mine at the time, he actually went with these people. Different, I think it was a different uh, group of people that like recruited him. But he's like, oh, that sounds interesting. And then he went. But when he got there, it was like this no marked building, right? There's like no like business sign or anything. He got inside and he just fell off from like the very beginning because they were, yeah, there was like food and stuff, but they were asking for donations and things like that. And uh, luckily, he he had a friend like kind of call him, and he's like, "Oh, you, or he came up with an excuse, where like his friend called him. And he's like, "Oh, I gotta go meet my friend." And he was able to get out, you know, no problem. But I can only imagine that if he wasn't able to get out at that time, it would have been a lot worse. So that's my experience with cults, at least in Korea. I've never experienced a cult in America. Um, but uh, if you ever come to Korea, watch out for those people because they are so good at what they do. They appear so friendly. They're, like, so nice and ask you a lot of questions. But if they ask you to, like, join them for something, like a cultural event, don't do it. Uh, because it very much is a uh, cult. Um, but, yeah, anyways, that's my experience with cults. I, I was just lucky that, like, I guess if I had not been busy, maybe I would have gone. But, come on, Pokemon Go? More important. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's invest in myself. I haven't invested myself lately. Uh, yeah, let me boost your health. Uh, use a unique slugging stance to unleash a monstrously powerful hit that takes down everything it takes. Oh my god. All right, yeah, let me get that. Uh, 15 minutes. Uh, strike out at the enemy while running. That sounds pretty good. Right, let me check out thug style, see what we can get here. We get health. Alright. Run at the enemy, unleash a spinning kick. Yeah, sure. I like the running moves. Running moves are pretty good. Uh, yeah. Probably could have done this earlier. Uh, heat gauge will slowly rise over time when you are wounded. However, only fill up to the second bar. Deliver body bow blow after charging up its power. Um, good for now, I guess. All right, it's time to finally go home. I'm kind of curious what's going on over here. What's happening here? And say quietly. What's happening? This guy's been staring at that mom and boy this whole time, this whole while. Excuse me, can you throw me my ball, please? Sure, got it. Oh, no. Oh, wait, please. Hmm? Hmm? That ball. May I? Hmm? Huh? 
I, can I have my ball, please? Yeah, coming right up. Goes. Whoa. Thank you. Uh, look at this weirdo. Got pretty dejected all of a sudden. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Now, I've, now I gotta know. No. Hey, what's got you down in the dumps? Did you want to throw the ball or something? Oi. Yes, very much so. <clears throat> Surely you don't need to be that despondent over it. Making me feel all guilty. I, I just wish I could have played catch with him. Even if it were just one that one throw. What is happening? Why him? Thank you for being so kind. Thanks for getting my ball. Uh-huh. Keep at it, kid, and you'll be in the pros. <laughs> Bye-bye, misters. I... What is happening? Bye-bye. I ain't old enough to be a mister. What's the matter? Why are those two so fascinating to you? You have nothing to do with this. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Those two... They're my wife and son. What? Huh? What are you talking about? You were obviously just a random guy to both of them. Because my wife and son can't recognize me. What is happening? What? How is that possible? Six months ago, my face was surgically altered. Surgically altered? What for? I can't get into the details, but it was user related, a little bit of trouble. A little bit? Not so sure about that. Real me is officially dead. I live as Keigo Akatani, new face and identity. Forced and assuming another life, your real name. And I was is now dead. Akatani is my real name now. Sorry. Man, that's complicated. Just imagine it. I can't tell you when I can tell you went through a hell of an ordeal. Yes. At first it was a shock every time I saw the stranger's face in the no one in the world who can recognize me for who I was. That realization made me want to kill myself. Oh my god. Fought the urge a long time. But then I remember my family. Mom and boy. Yes. I'm a total stranger to them now. The best I can do is watch them from afar, like you thought me doing. Can't you just tell your wife and son about what happened and go back to them? If only I could do that. Real me is supposed to be dead. I doubt they would believe my outlandish story. Even if I could convince them, I don't know if they could accept me with a stranger's face. Besides, I'm in deep in the underworld, deep enough to attract the kind of trouble that makes a man change. Just by being around me, those two could be in danger. Better that I just watch them. Got ya, man. Man, now I'm really sorry I threw that ball back to your boy. Yeah. Please don't worry about it. I'll wait for another opportunity. That'll be tough for you. Take care, huh? Thank you. First person I spoke with truthfully since my face was altered. Don't mind, may I ask your name? Majima. Be nice if I could chat with you again sometime, Majima-san. Well, I should be going. Well, that was depressing. That was not, that was not as fun as I wanted it to be. I thought it would be funny, but uh, nope. Just depressing. All right, now it's time to go home. Just went in a circle. I want to go home. I want to. I want to end my nightmare that's happening right now. Uh, wait, right, yeah. Uh, all of that was really depressing, dude. Uh, let me see. Just in case. I'm going home. Going oh. home. Uh, this way. Oh, Matia, Majima. Hey. Oh, they're talking. Huh? Dario, my. Odyssey, no moon yet, the Utara. Kokuru, a tariya. Odyssey. Yeah, we're we're done with that. Dude. Okay, 
These guys don't know. They don't know, chat. They don't know. あんた。お客様は神様やいうて客に土下座までするらしいやないか。夜の帝王かなんか知らんが、なっさげない話やで。そんなお金が欲しいか。I mean, you guys are not customers, so I can do whatever I want with you. Did you guys see that picture that was like... <laughs> that was like, uh... drawn all over? Yeah, there it is again. Hell yeah, you ain't customers. <laughs> there it is again. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, come on. Yeah, boy goods. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, getting kicked. Please. There you go. I was like, I was trying to get the heat move. The heat move shows up for like two seconds. Go to sleep. Oh. Stay down. Sorry, Mizuno. Oh, damn it, almost had it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Kid knocked out, son. Yo, that's a good move. This guy's some kind of monster. Oh, right there. Oh. I'm goddamn Manjima. しかしただ。お客様は神様やからな。All right, time to finally go to bed. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, look at scene. Oh, what a great home. Place uh quite lovely. Much fun. Well at least he lives in the city unlike Kiryu. Kiryu lives kinda outside the city. Nice view of the river. Oh. I'm always being watched. Jesus. How many people are watching him? The old guy, huh? Well, Majima's uh, story is kind of depressing. Hey, we completed another chapter. Uh, worth two times a five million high-end Japanese car. Okay. Time battles. 
item. Proof of all. Alright. Three years ago, Kamarojo. Oh, Yodai. Oh. Play no are. Motte hitan yoruna. Ah. Ah. Ta magai mo wa issai nashi. Doji magumi keiyu de shireta shoushin shoumei no honmon ya. Kenju wa zenbu de 6 chou. 1 chou ni tsuki 6 patsu utteru to shite 36 patsu hashya degeru. Sounds like they're gonna go blasted. I tell you, no, you see, are to some of a near say what kind of rent you see. Kona in a toko yobi dash te nan no tsumori nanska. She but a tanto chokunu ni mas kyo no, ue no yoshi haru no shugeki. Majima san, ikanai de kudasai. Do she de sorio. Anata to Saejima wa kyo, shushu chokugo no ue no Yoshiharu o tonai no ramen ya de osou. So yu keikaku desu yo ne. Jitsu wa ano keikaku, chotto mondai ga arimashite ne. Yodei o henkou o sase te morau koto ni nari mashita. Ow. Kono mama shungeki ni mukae ba, doujima kumicho, ya shima no san ni mo, meiwaku o kakeru koto ni natte shima imasu. ちょうだいはもう向かってねえじゃあ俺はどうしたらいいんじゃまマジマさんあんた俺に兄弟裏切れっちゅうか でもそれじゃあなたの身もうるせえ関係ないわこっちはそないなもんとっくに捨てるはらって人んじゃそうですかそれじゃ仕方ありませんねおいあはしばた Ah. Well, that's how he lost his eye. Now, oh my god, the face on this guy. お前やったらそんくらいは勝っとると思っとったがなおやじ兄弟は佐江島はどうなったんですか教えてください道を外した極道の行き着く先がこの穴ぐらいやおやじ安心せい別に殺しはせんせやけどここにぶち込まれた奴はみんな殺してくれって泣いて頼むわなんでやろなおやじ what a shitty boss. <laughs> Yo, guys, if your boss sucks, just remember that Majima's boss is a lot worse. Remember that. Whew. 
Oof. That was a lot to unload. A lot to unpackage. Another shit night's sleep. Gotta get to work. Much else I can do. Okay then, uh, I guess, uh, just go back to the cabaret. I wanna... Oh. Just hang in some dirty laundry. Okay. Oh. Okay, another card. Alright, uh, time to ignore everything that just happened. Oh, pocket tissue. Alright, thanks. I'm just gonna pretend that none of that happened, and I'm gonna go do some happy other stuff. You know what? Actually, I could fight right now. Let me take out my aggression here. Oh, I killed the guy in the back! Goodbye. The style is so good. Oh, let me see. Oh, found a payphone. Oh. I was not expecting to run into a side story, but alright. Oh. Hello. Oh, hi. How's it going? Yeah, thanks for calling me right away. And chatting on a phone. That clunky ass bag is. Want to hear about my shoulder bag phone? Huh? No? That's not what you're calling about? Huh? Okay. Sorry. Bag phone. That bag actually working as a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? Oh. All right. I get it. Well, if you ever want to hear about it, you know what, who to call. Okay. Bye. Huh. Why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of the bag phone? They know how much I had to beg for this thing. Boy. Hey, buddy, where are you just were you just chatting on the phone for that chunky bag you got there? Pardon? Yes, exactly. Yes, I was talking using this. Pretty wild. Some kind of radio then? Oh no, not at all. A real phone. It's called a bag phone. Bag phone. What's a phone in a bag? <gasps> Oh, really? You don't know? It's all the rage now. It's a fully transportable mobile telephone made possible through state-of-the-art technology. Now I want people to be able to carry telephones with them all the time. Be able to connect with anyone, anytime, and anywhere. Oh, man. I wish we could show this guy a smartphone. I wish we could... I, just, even just a normal cell phone. I wish we could show this guy a cell phone. Watch his brain, like, literally explode from how... This bag phone turned into the cell phones that we have today. Love to show that guy that. I don't know if anyone ever had a bag phone. I mean, certainly before I was alive. I don't know if in America a bag phone was a thing or not. Certainly, many people didn't have it. I don't think it was a thing that, like, I think it was mostly, like, businesses would have it, probably. Mobile telephone, eh? Crazy, but what's the point of carrying a phone with you at all times? <sighs> You're not seeing the bigger picture. This bad boy, you're not chained to your home or office. You can even turn a cafe into your work. You can be in touch with your friends and family at all times. Call my mom right now if I want. Uh, sure. I guess I can see it. I knew you'd see the light. Doesn't it make you want one? <laughs> you head to the store and get it to ride the w get it to ride the wave. Of the yeah. Yeah, right. I'm guessing that thing costs you an arm and a leg. Right in the future always comes with a tax. Actually, yeah. It's more expensive than I should even say. <sighs> Figure this out. I just... I don't see the need. I'll stick to the payphones and the rest of the peasants. <laughs> Weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yeah, I was about to make a call. But I see. <laughs> you know, I just noticed, I like the picture in the background with, like, the guy in the t-shirt that says USA. What the fuck is that about? There's like two old people dancing, I think, or like two old people holding arms, and then the guy that's like, USA, what the fuck? I don't really read Japanese that well, so I don't know what it says. 
Uh, very well, I shall let you use the cutting edge of technology. My bag phone to place your call. Whoa. Sure about that? Hmm. Certainly. I want everyone to experience the future. Hey. You need to understand just what a bag phone represents. Aren't I generous? Bag phone, huh? Guy says it's state of the art. Do I want to see what it's all about? Uh, yeah, you know what? Sure, why not? <laughs> Bro, let's see what the future holds. <laughs> Alright, I know you're excited, but the future's right here, hanging off my shoulder. Here you go. You're about to get a taste of tomorrow. Mind if I do? I ain't hearing any. <gasps> really? Can I see it for a sec? Oh man, the battery must have died. I probably used it all when I took that call from my buddy. The battery's dead? Mm. Yeah, the thing is about the future. The thing about the future is that it really sucks the life out of today's batteries. Does it? Well, how long does it take to recharge? Mm. A mere eight hours. Of course. Of course it does. Yeah, dude. That long? You only had the one conversation earlier, and that's all it takes to run it down to empty? price you pay for being on the vanguard of the times. It's always been that way. Technology's beauty is as fleeting and fragile as the chairs. <laughs> right, sounds like more of a hassle than it's worth. Well, seeing as how you marvel at how your marvel at technology's gone silent, I guess I'll have to pass on your offer. Thanks. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Wait, let's not be hasty. Now what? You can't just give up on your chance to cross the frontier of progress. Just because it's out of power doesn't mean we can't get it back. You just told me it'll take eight hours. I ain't got that kind of time. I'd be able to tap my message out in Morse code before that thing came back. Well, it just so happens this thing can also use regular batteries to make calls. Mm. So, would you go buy me a battery for it? I would think Don Quixote carries them. Huh? What? Now I gotta run your errands? Don't be upset. For the price of a couple batteries, you could be getting in touch with the future. This guy. <laughs> this guy. I do gotta admit that I'm curious. I'm sure you're a busy man, so I'll wait right here for you. Take your time. By the way, my name's Hidozuka. I promise you can use my bag phone as long as you come back with the battery. Alright, I'm Majima. I'll be back when I can. <sighs> I guess if I'm ever by Don Quixote, I can pop in and get this kind of battery. Future. Future! Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna get that now, but maybe some point I will. Anyways, I was about to save. This guy's all about the future, man. I bet he's like the first one in line when it comes to like uh, any new technology, right? But I get that. I love new technology. Anytime like people are announcing uh, new shit, I'm always like right there to be like, "Ooh, what is it? How does it work?" Like, you remember Google Glasses? I was so excited for Google Glasses to like come out. It's just a real shame they ended up uh, being not good. <laughs> I wanted to get one so bad. Every like new technology, I'm so fascinated. Uh, good morning, sir. And again, thank you for managing to strike a deal with Odyssey. Doing my job. It's up to you guys to keep this place on the upswing. Still, that was quite the surprise to wake up to. Why didn't you tell me the two other girls were coming besides Nozomi? Do what now? Sure. Neither one is at Nozomi's level, but they're both veterans and fantastic draws for the club. Any luck, they'll bring all their old regulars straight to us. Go, gave up some of our girls in the trade, but there's no denying we came out on top here. Last night's negotiations must have been something to behold. Well, did a fair bit of research beforehand. As long as you get a little dirt under your belt, you can pretty much... That may be true for you, sir. No wonder they call you the Lord of the Nights. Like my little talk with Yamagata went better than I thought. Probably could have stuck it to him even harder, though. Get a few more girls out of him. I guess I could have done more research or given the club a better look to get a few more cards in my hands to play. No sense worrying about it now. Now, if it's a good time, I'd like to work out the new shift schedule. Four. Shigai-nin, onewa desu. Ano, owner da te itteru desu kedo. Wakatta. Did um. Name. 
お疲れさあ、oh, oh, お前ちょっと今から出られねえか、ね、いやさお前と飲みたくなってよどういう風の吹き回しやあいにくあんたと酒飲むくらいなら自分のしょんべん飲む方がまだまし<笑>やめとけあんまりうまいもんじゃねえぞあれは<笑> like, oh, you drinking 店は下の連中に任せとけば一日ぐらいはなんとかなんだろう俺は明日は公園で待ってる早く来いよおいオーナーからの呼び出しやいつ戻れるかわからんからあと頼んだでえわかりました主任にも伝えておきますすまんのGot here and now we leave. So, here.、Um, Majima moved just a little bit faster. What does Sagawa have for us now? Hey, it's nighttime already. Oh, that's the guy with the battery, but I think we gotta go this way, anyways. Oh, is that the park with like the dad? Dad that, uh. What is it? Oh. Uh, can't see his son. Hmm, what am I going to do? Oh, what to do? You! I love that every time they're just kind of casually walking by, but like when I'm playing as them, I'm always just like running. Excuse me. Huh? Er, um, well. Thing is, want something from me? Let's hear it then. Yes. What I say is, uh, listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it, spit it out. I have a favor to ask. Can you please be my boyfriend? Hmm. Alrighty. Say what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend. Please? Pretty please? Is that, is that how ladies get boyfriends these days? Well, no, no, no. This is the past. In the 80s. This, I gotta remember. This is the 80s. Is, that, is this how women got boyfriends in the past? What? Just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean, you want, me, you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You'll be my one and only. What is What's going on? Boyfriend. Right. Okay. Back it up a step or six. What the heck's with this little lady? Just run up to me on the street demanding that I be her man? Every girl I meet these days makes me understand them less and less. <laughs> Gotta get together. Can't let her know she got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer like, don't even think you've won, little lady. I'll take that proposal. Oh, I'll take that as a proposal.、Uh, I got no interest in <laughs> got no interest in women.、Uh, yeah, let's just be friends. You say we start as friends, huh? No, no, I need a boyfriend, not just a friend. Come on now, let's hear that extra syllable that says you're mine. What is going on with this girl? What? You can't just expect a man to jump straight to the girlfriend's step. That would be more natural, you know? I've left out a few details. You've left out every detail. I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Why couldn't you just say that? Excuse me? And? Yes. You see, my father is visiting from back home and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He's getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and I told him I already have a boyfriend. Back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him, kind of like the blade of an eye. Why? What? 
Why is that so specific to me? What the fuck? Why would you give him so many details? And why did you- Yeah, why did you just describe Majima? What the fuck? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kind of made it up as I went. Then th Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you, so here I am, and I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad. Wow, you catch on fast. Yeah, when you tell me, it's pretty easy to understand. Pretty much it. Dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend. He'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. You don't know me, though. Please, nobody else looks anything like you. I'd be shocked if anyone else looked like Majima. Uh, could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Sagawa can wait. Sagawa can fucking wait. This girl's in a pickle, all right. We want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with him. Fine, you painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be a boyfriend. Yes, I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Oh, my name is Kokoa. Please call me Koko-chan. Koko-chan. Oh, and sorry I didn't get your name. Goro Majima. See, the Majima-san. I'll dress you as Goro-chan. 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 Just met. It's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No. I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this move. <clears throat> uh, I say so. Yes, I do. Don't waste any more time. We should be going, like, right now. Huh? Getting exhausted already. What's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet my dad over dinner. The three of us. Already? We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Goku chan Make it so we meet, like, shake hands and let me go. Why don't you... Uh, I got nothing to say to your dad, Goku chan Make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go. Why don't you? Bing, bang, boom. Oh, no, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. You have to go now, Goku chan Get a move on. Damn, I don't know what I was expecting, but here we are. All right, time to uh, be the perfect date. We got this. So, Gorochan, this is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. You got it. But what's all this about making him angry? Did I get pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. It's not scary though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed and he Babies me more than he should, but underneath it all, he's as good a father as I could ask for. Okay. I don't suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. See? Start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all like, forget this guy, I'll arrange your next date, so let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory. Me? I need a backstory? I've been going out for six months. you a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. Favorite food is the omelet rice I make. Okay. Uh, what was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you've got it memorized? All right, chat. Hopefully you remembered all of that. I ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? Fine. From the top. Been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going out on drives and watching movies. And you love the omelet rice I make. Okay? Got that, chat? Ah. Doing my best shot. There he is. Dad, over here. So, oh, this is Koko chans dad. Like his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Koko-chan, this is my father. Hello. Koko's father, pleased to meet you. This is the man I'm seeing. Or a majima -san. No. Now think about it. Being a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much is. It's gonna end up making an impact on the rest of her life. Guess I better buckle down and get this into this role properly. No different than at the Grand, right? First impression's key. What do I open with? Please meet you, sir. I'm Koromajima. I'm delighted to meet you. Father, please make my miso soup every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, it sucks that I really want to pick these answer. This answer. Oh. No, I don't want to fail the sub story. Please meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majima -kun. I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Koko-san has stood by me at every turn. At every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage a proper introduction. It seemed different, much. Right, Dad. Lord not like those stereotypical men. Yeah, he's, he sure isn't. Good. The first impression went well. Playing the respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majima-kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender-waisted, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura. Not unlike a dead dagger's edge. Never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are. Me, Dad? I told you I was lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of me. Yes, I figured it was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Mm -hmm. Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? Ha ha ha. Well, they do seem to be on good terms, and her dad's a decent guy, too. Darn, but decent. Oh yes, Majima Kun. Koko may have mentioned already, but what line of work are you in again? Job, huh? Oh man, I think Koko mentioned that in the backstory. Uh, I'm a Yakuza. I'm a dentist, I remember. Clean those teeth, dude! Oh yes, yes, that's right. I'd heard you are a dentist. Never would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. Oh, lay off, man. Dentists can be whoever. I get told that often, yes. Oh, Dad. You're being so rude to my Goro-chan. I remember what Koko... Koro-chan told me in, the, in that hack job of backstory. Incidentally, Majima Kun. Yes. I was wondering how did you come to meet Koko? Koko. Oh. Well, that's. Uh. I didn't ask you, I asked Majima Kun. Is this song in the background. Like, from the karaoke? Not sure. Tell me, Majima Kun, how did you get to know each other? What the? Brian, pretty deep, is he? Onto us? That explain how I supposedly met Coco Chan in a way that won't make him more suspicious. She stopped me in the street. We sat next to each other in a movie. Coco Chan ran into me while eating toast. <laughs> Yo, if you don't watch anime, you're a man of, uh, you're not a cultured man or woman. That is, this sentence is sublime anime Japanese culture. The toast in the, in the mouth running around the corner and bumping into each other. That's classic. That's fucking classic. Not the correct answer. Very much so, yeah. It is the epitome of Japanese anime. Uh, we happened to sit next to each other at a movie theater. That's how we met. Movie. Come to think of it. Kokoa chan did mention that... Oh, Kokoa did mention that you enjoy movies. Yes. Like I said, Coco Chan just happened to sit next to me. That flick was a real tearjerker, so I offered my handkerchief, and the rest is his. Yes, that's how I went. Amazing, Coco Chan. I can't believe you came up with such a. I mean, remember, like it was 15 minutes ago. So romantic. <laughs> well, what a fortuitous meeting then. I'm just glad she didn't want meet her boyfriend in any places it shouldn't be, like the middle of the street. Of course not. My Coco Chan is a proper and decent man. Oh man, if only she knew. There, I wove in Koku Chan's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Majima Kun, I'm gonna put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? Dad, why would you put him on the spot like that? Sorry, Koku, I'm just so worried about you. I'm still so innocent, like a child. Makes me awake at night, keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. But there's a man who'd love you and treat you well. Why, I would give you my blessing for marriage right this instant. Oh my gosh, Dad, uh, that's why I need to ask, Majima -kun. What about Kokoa do you find attractive? In my soul here. Yes, I can't blame him, his daughter's future is on the line. 
don't like tricking him, but I told Koko-chan I'd go along with this. Gotta find a good reason why I find her so attractive. She's so cute. She makes great omelet rice. She's innocent and childlike. I feel like this is the best answer, right? I fell in love with how great the omelet rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelet rice has a special quality. I love it too. Majima, that's all you see my daughter. I don't want her to give her away to you. If it's delicious omelet rice that you want, you could easily marry a cook. Dad, damn it. Having a Koko-chan backstory backfired. At his point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for a good... Damn it! I thought he would come up with a sentence that was like, I fell in love when blah, 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 blah. Damn, that didn't work. Oh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey, don't fall in. Oh. Wait a sec. With her powder in her nose, it's down to just me and her old man. Damn. Majima Kun. Yes? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's life. Chat, he knows! Eh? Lie? What lie? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> you can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. That obvious? You knew from the start what gave us away. I could just tell by the way my doctor was acting. I wasn't her father for all these years for nothing. Why'd you go along with this dumb trade for something? Mm. Kuko was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to snot like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all the suitors I'd arranged for. You know your daughter well. I'll write through her. Lost my wife when Coco was still an infant. I raised her alone without anyone else's help. No, there's the sad boy music. I tried to raise her well so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own. I had to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. Her own woman. Time I learned to let her go. And the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. That. Someday my daughter is going to bring a real boyfriend to me. And I thought this might be good practice. Practice? Right? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Ah. Still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. Yeah, this kind of feels like a waste of time. I gotta tell you. I think avoiding an arranged marriage was the only reason Coco chan pulled this you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. Pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle of your work. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. Wanted to prove to you she can manage her own affair. Like getting married. Okay. Had a nice, wholesome chat with Dad. Sorry, I'm back. Hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Koko-chan. So listen, your dad actually knew. Majima Kun. Yes. Koko, you've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. <laughs> I know, right? Koko-chan's a super guy, so this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes. See, there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome. It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. Did they even eat? Where's the food? I didn't even see them eat food. Korochan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Korochan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I wanted to give you this. Uh, thank you. We've got five pieces of right? Okay. Cool, thanks. Whatever the case, I think I'm free from dad hounding me to meet the suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yes. I'll have to walk my dad to his hotel. Ah. Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Oh, cool. I forgot something. Did you give me give me just a moment. Uh. Oh, okay. Right, what does dad want? Something wrong? Majima-kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Huh? What's that? Majima-kun. Glad I got to talk to you. Went through all the bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. 
<laughs> I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit now. No, no, not at all. That's why. I'd like it if you'd be my daughter's real boyfriend. Oh my god. Oh, this fucking guy. Excuse me? What'd you just say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please. Like father, like daughter. They're both begging me to do something. When the fresh, when the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea. Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust our future to you. I am not the right guy, dude. Whoa, slow down. I'm having trouble believing my ears. You can start by just pretending. That's fine. Hey, if she won't take you, I will. What the f What is happening? What? What the fuck? Did you say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break. You too. This is why I'm single. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Oh, that was going to be so wholesome. Oh, that was supposed to be so wholesome. Oh my god. Alright, well. Oh, shiny thing. Oh, okay, another card. Alright. Uh. Just, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was going to be something. Alright, let me save. Alright. Well, that was a. Uh, that was a side story. I did not expect that ending, but uh, very good, very very good. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, today's Yakuza, at least. And uh, yeah, I had a great time. We didn't get too much story done today, but we got a lot of uh, side stuff done and some story. Some story, but it was a lot of fun. I had a great time. Hope you guys had a great time uh, with Yakuza more. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the streams and enjoying the story of Majima and Kiryu and all of that and all the goofy things that happen. We had the cult today. The cult was the best part. The cult was a really fucking good. That was a good side story. I like that one. But uh, yeah, the, unfortunately, that's the time for today. Uh, and as just a, an, another reminder, a friendly reminder... I won't be streaming tomorrow or Monday because I'll be in Busan and I won't I'll be streaming any of that stuff, but I will be recording for my other YouTube channel, Soul Loving Channel. So if you guys are curious what Busan is like and want to see what I'm doing while I'm over there, uh, be sure to check that out. Thank you. Thank you, Danny Hell. Thank you very much. Uh, I cannot wait. I'm excited to relax for three days. Because I need the relaxation. I have not slept well in the last few days. Oh, because I've been so busy. Uh, but thank you, thank you again for everybody being here and supporting and hanging out. Time. Hope you guys have a great day, great night, and a great weekend. I'll miss you guys. Uh, but we'll be back on Tuesday for more Yakuza. See you guys then. Thank you. Bye.